we are all packed up and ready to go to our next hotel in Santa Marta. Bus 912, which leaves at 3 p.m. Right now, we're just gonna uh, wait in the coffee shop area for our bus to come and make sure we keep our eyes peeled. We are on this bus for the next two hours. It's just really two hours. Two hours. And, uh, the next hotel is kind of. Along the way, I don't know. Like it's the destination is past our hotel, so we tried asking if we can drop off like somewhere close by, so we can walk, or if we take a five-minute cab ride instead of going downtown, which is 15 to 20 minutes away from the hotel. I was hoping that the route that they took literally was right in front of our hotel, so it just depends on what the route looks like. I used my Spanish as far as I could. Hopefully, something went across where they're like, oh yeah, like these two little Asian guys don't know where they're going. One lady even came up and wanted to escort us onto the bus because she was afraid we'd get lost. We highly recommend the Bellino Star. There are like four other brands that we didn't try, but so far the experience is really nice. That was so nice. We literally stopped on the side of the highway because luckily the Marriott Hotel in Santa Marta is located right at a bus station. <laughs> so we were actually really lucky. We stopped on one side. We now are crossing a tall bridge over the highway. I used my Spanish and he was so nice to stop for us. We have a bus full of people. Um, I think he made other stops for other people too. Yeah, but they just like jump off like whenever they want. So we saved ourselves about 40 minutes, maybe an hour, because we'd have to get off and then, you know, wait for a cab. I really doubt that there are Ubers here. <laughs> but we are here! You see the Marriott. Santa Marta! Look at the Marriott, it's so huge. It's right there. I just checked the Bonvoy app. Guess what? They upgraded us to a one bedroom suite. This is the best suite they have. <laughs> We are walking on a road that's not a road. That's why Weedy is carrying our suitcase in case the wheels fall off. Like how we saw a guy that took his suitcase out of the car or the, the bus and the wheel popped off. <laughs> just like that. Pop. It's just very sandy so the wheel is having a hard time getting pulled. Macho, macho man. Oh, this is hey, a <laughs> it's like moto. This is where the path begins. Good job, babe. Two nights. Upgrade! 
upgrade. We got a suite. Welcome to the Marriott property in Santa Marta. It is 20 minutes away from downtown Santa Marta, but the view here is spectacular. We are by a public beach, followed by a string of other condominium properties. The Marriott sits in one of them and has the best view in the stretch. We are on the eighth floor, and this is room 830. All right, so this, this bedroom specifically has two bathrooms. When you first come in, you have a half bath, which is kind of nice. There's a ladder in there too, that was kind of cool. I know, I love the design of this property. It's very eco-friendly chic. So coming in down here, we have the dry bar area with a mini refrigerator and Honestly, it's very well stocked. Like, yeah, so they call this the mini bar. It has all your snacks, all your goodies. Filled to the brim. Um, coffee, that's, coffee and tea that's free. And then all stocked beautifully. Some beer and wine and seltzer. I personally don't really care for an espresso machine. And I really appreciate when the property gives you a hot water, hot water flask. So a kettle is so important to me because I love my tea. And this is the creme de la creme, which is the bedroom facing the ocean. It is a king size bed. Look at it. It's super comfy. Also gives you support. Four pillows that B and I love because sometimes when they give you just two, it's definitely not enough. They also have these like bedside lamps that are just so stunning. And then you could just see the texture on the wall. It just feels so cool. Um, right behind me, we have a closet. There's yeah. an ironing board, bathrobes. All of our basic amenities. Yes. And I love it when they have bathroom slippers. Yes, that's being covered by our stuff right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then the second closet down here with more storage space. Yes, plenty of shelves for you to put all your stuff. I really appreciate the floor to ceiling um, closets because mm -hmm. it makes it look very spacious and big. And then right through here, past our bed, we have a little dining area with three chairs. So I'm guessing three people can be in this room, maybe four, maybe just two. But I guess, you know, they're thinking that you have guests. And then as you can see right behind me, there's a big, what, 72 inch screen TV? It's at least. At least. It is bigger than me laying down across it, so, One wow. One thing though is that this TV can't be flipped. So, when we first got in here, I was trying to like push this thing and we was like, don't break it! <laughs> <laughs> because at the back down here, it's not a TV. So, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't classify this as a separate bedroom. It would be a one-room space, but it's very huge for sure. 699 square feet. That's so much larger than a New, a New York size apartment. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue our tour. I really appreciate the open concept and the large sliding door windows. Every single sliding door window have access into the balcony space, which is so nice. And I can't imagine what it's gonna look like tomorrow morning when the sun rise. Couch, two small lounge chairs. And can we talk about this work desk space? Oh my goodness, like, how in the world are you going to tell people that you're going to sit down here and do work with a view like this of the beach? I think you're going to get distracted all the time. I, I just can't. <laughs> but I, I really appreciate the design because this looks like a reclaimed wood. And they put on modern fixtures and you know modern electronics with power sockets to make sure that the design is integrated into the living space. USB port. <laughs> All right, the last room in this space is the bathroom. So the bathroom has a sliding door, which closed. Bye. <laughs> and open, like, I love these bamboo type doorknobs. <laughs> so cute. Come on in. Um, not a double vanity, but a single vanity sink. Large mirrors and all the basic bath amenities, hair dryer, towels, and once again, 
the bamboo ladder. <laughs> With towels top. this time. <laughs> and this is the second toilet, which is the bathroom. Yep. Second bath. And then step in here is my favorite rain shower. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually a really cool bathroom because this shower can fit two people. But not only that, sure. <laughs> not only that, we also get access to the outside. B. And I think this is the money shot because this room comes with an oversized jacuzzi that can fit comfortably for people. <laughs> like, look at this. Wow. And then on top of that, we have this beautiful balcony with a couple lounge chairs, a table um, with two chairs, and then the piece de resistance, this ocean view. You can see the sunset. You can see the people down on the beach. Look at how low they are. <laughs> This is so cool. I love the fact that this building is built in a way that every floor is staggered. So the higher you are, the more you can see. Each of the properties facing the ocean has their own balconies. As you can see, it's all like kind of tiered off like what Bernard said. And then you just have this as your backdrop. You have the sun setting, you have airplanes flying through the sky. still going. It's still going. Just so you know, the airport is literally a hop, skip, and away. It's literally right there. You can see the airport with the planes. So I don't know. I really wanted to get some drone shots, but it might be a little difficult. It's also really windy here, as you can see with my hair. So the design is definitely very well thought about because this is a true open concept living space where you have easy access into the balcony and the indoor space. Can I stand here? So we checked in at around 5 o'clock today. Um, as you can see, we filmed and we just got off the bus stop and suddenly, like, boom, there's this really luxurious property. Our check-in was really smooth and fast. Um, we were greeted by Martha. She introduced the property and told us what what's to eat around here, what to do around here, and she surprised us with an upgrade to a one-bedroom suite. It's always nice to get upgraded to the highest level room of the property, especially, you know, somewhere like this is so beautiful. They don't have an executive lounge, so we selected breakfast as our welcome amenity. Um, I guess because resorts don't have to offer breakfast by default to elite members at Platinum and above. We are Titanium members, so we get a choice of breakfast, points, or a snack amenity or drink amenity. So it makes absolute sense that we check the breakfast spot. Because of the nature of this place is so still in development, there's not much of like other hotels or restaurants around here that's walkable distance unless we take a cab 20 minutes into the downtown area. So it makes more sense just to have breakfast so that that close out one meal for the day. We don't need to worry about finding food around the, the, the area. So this is it, the sun is setting. We want to enjoy the sunset by our whirlpool. <laughs> so this is the Marriott Santa Marta Playa del Mingo Resort. Good morning. We are at the Marriott. I just went for a morning run and now we're heading for the breakfast service in the lobby restaurant called 1525. Let's go check it out.
We are walking down the beach right now and unfortunately the sand is quite rough and we're just going to see what's going on. Maybe there's some restaurants or some shops to take a look at. <laughs> look at this cactus fence. <laughs> it's literally a fence of cacti with bump wires on it. We just made our way around a bend and we're seeing that there's so many more people on the other side of this bay. So we're walking on the opposite direction of uh, the airport of, I think it's called San Boliviar Airport. This area is also super popular because it has one of the best uh, faces of the sunset. So around six o'clock, seven o'clock, when the sun is literally in the backdrop, it's just extra stunning. So definitely a fun place to check out. super delicious. It's paired with some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and salt. So really, really tasty. For my meal, I got this cute little arepa, um, which is pretty much like a corn uh, cake, and it's topped with chicharron, um, guacamole, and red onion, pickled red onions. For it. <laughs> it's so good. I got a salad. <laughs> Quinoa lentil salad with roasted corn. We are finally ready to head to Cartagena. We really enjoyed our stay here in Santa Marta. The Marriott property was super nice. The resort is just so far from everything, so you just really feel like you are in paradise. We really appreciate the upgrade down here. Being on the eighth floor in the suite overlooking the ocean was just really stunning. As, as you can see, we took pictures this morning. It was so worth the trek to come look at Santa Marta. The beach is not exactly the most mm, beautiful. beautiful beach with the white sand and blue water. <laughs> yeah, not like it the, is the traditional gray. beach. It is thinking. black. <laughs> right. And also, we just can't thank enough to the whole Marriott team down here. They were so attentive and the service was immaculate. Like whatever we asked for, they come within like 10 minutes and yeah. it's unheard of in any luxury hotel yeah. and I also really appreciate that how all the staff here address us by my last name which is really nice because even a luxury hotel in the United States you don't really get that kind of service or attention yeah. to detail even I get mystery and sometimes <laughs> <laughs> once again a big shout out to the entire team down here for making our stay so comfortable so far we just really enjoy our stay we would definitely come back when the hotel has reached a certain point where they can, you know, beef up their service or like offer a little bit more. And um, that's pretty much it for our review. So this is the Marriott in Santa Marta, Playa Domina. <laughs>